Now in this example, we show to obtain the first four non-zero terms in the McClory's expansion of f of x is equals to ln of 3x plus 1, isn't it? Hence, evaluate the integral of from 0 to 2 of ln of 3x plus 1 all over x with respect to x, isn't it? Now, the first thing you need to know when you want to use McLaurin series, it is a Taylor series at the point when a is equals to when a is equals to 0, isn't it? So you start, what is the Taylor series expansion of f of x, isn't it? The Taylor series expansion of f of x, you start from f of f of a, isn't it? f of a, f of a then plus you differentiate a once, you leave some space, isn't it? Then you leave some base, then plus you differentiate a twice, you leave some base, space, then plus you differentiate a three thrice. So we'll see if all this, because they want the first four and zero terms, so we'll see if this, all these are non zero. If they are not non zero, we add another term to the four and zero terms, isn't it? Are we together? So you know, when you differentiate a once, it means you have x minus a raised to power 1 over 1 factorial, isn't it? When you differentiate a twice, it means you have x minus a raised to power 2 over 2 factorial, isn't it? When you differentiate 3 f over 3 i, it means you have x minus a raised to power 3 over 3 factorial. So, that is that. That is the Taylor. That is the Taylor series for the expansion of f of x, isn't it? So, for the McLaurin series, it means A is what? A is 0, isn't it? Yeah. So, when A is 0, we are going to get F of X in the McLaurin series is going to be F of? F of 0, where there is A, you put 0, isn't it? F of 0 plus F prime of 0, X minus 0 is just X, isn't it? Then X raised to power 1 over 1 factorial, then it is plus f double prime of 0, where they say you put 0, isn't it? x minus a, x minus 0, that is, remain with x squared over 2, factorial, then plus f triple prime of, of 0, then x minus 0 is x raised to power 3 over 3 factorial. So, we were told to obtain the first 4 terms. So, we will see if all these first 4 terms are non zero. If either of them is 0, then we'll add another term, okay? Are we together? Yes. So start with the first one. F of x. What have you been given to be f of x? Yes. F of x is ln of 3x plus plus 1, isn't it? Then move again. F of f prime of x. If, if you differentiate it for the first time, what do you get? If you have f of t to be equal to ln of t, if you differentiate f of t, you get 1 over t, isn't it? So it means when you are x, 3x plus 1 is t, you are going to get 1 over 3x plus plus 1, isn't it? Then you differentiate the inner function, which is 3x plus 1. If you differentiate 3x plus 1, what do you get? 3. So it means it is going to be this times 3. Then in the end, you get 3 over 3x plus. Are we together? So it means f prime of x is 3 over 3x plus plus 1. So there we found f prime of x is 3 over 3x plus 1, which can be written in which form? 3 into 3x plus 1 raised to negative. That negative 1 shows that this is the denominator, isn't it? 3x plus 1 is in the denominator, so if you bring it in the numerator, it becomes raised to negative 1. Are we together? Then you go again, if you differentiate it for the second time, so it is the power times this. Yes. Negative 1 times the coefficient 3. You get negative 3, then 3x plus 1, you reduce negative 1 minus 1, negative 2, isn't it? Yes. Then you, you differentiate the inner function. If you differentiate 3x plus 1, you get? You get 3, isn't it? Yes. So from there, if you simplify 3 times negative 3, so you get f double prime of x is negative 9 into 3x plus 1 raised to negative 2. Are we together? Is that okay? Yes. Then go to the next one. F. F triple prime of? Of x, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. So f triple prime of x is what? 
polynomials. This is a polynomial negative 2 times negative 9, isn't it? You get 18 into 3x plus 1, then you reduce negative 2 minus 1. You get negative, then you differentiate the inner functions. If the inner function is 3x plus 1, if you differentiate 3x, you get 3. If you differentiate 1, you get 0, isn't it? So you will remain with that, isn't it? So what do we have? F triple prime of x is 18 times 3, isn't it? That is 54 into 3x plus 1 raised to power negative 3, isn't it? So these are these are f of x, isn't it? But we need f of we need f of a. So we need f of a. So it means where there is x we put a, then where there is a we put 0. So we just go direct what is f of 0. What is f of 0? Meaning where there is this x we put 0, we get f of 0 direct. Are you see? Yes. Because x you change to a to become ln of 3a plus 1, then a you change to 0. So instead of going three steps, you just say where there is x you put 0, then you get your f of 0, isn't it? Where there is x you put 0, then you get your f prime of 0. Are you seeing that? Where there is x you put 0, you get your f double prime of of zero. We just move direct. There's no need of coming and say where there is x, you put a to get f of a, then where there is you put zero to get f of zero. That is the same thing, but we're just moving direct, okay? Are we together? Good. So start. Start with the first one. Where can I write it? Down there. Down here. Down here I wanted to do the substitution. We can still use this space. We can squeeze this space. So we found f of x is ln of 3x plus 1, isn't it? Then we found f prime of x is what? 3? 3 into 3x plus 1 raised to negative? This one, isn't it? Then we found f double prime of x to be this one, isn't it? Negative 9 into 3x plus 1 raised to negative 2. So we are done with that. Then we found f triple prime of x to be what? 54 into 3x plus 1 raised to power negative negative 3. So we now want f of 0, isn't it? We want f of f of 0. So what is f of 0? Meaning where there is x you put 0, isn't it? So f of 0 will be ln of 0 times 3 is 0, ln of 1. ln of 1 is 0. So if it is 0, it means what? We are not going to make the first 1 and 0 terms, isn't it? Are you seeing that? So it means we need to add one more time. Are we together? We need to add one more. So that one more time is going to be plus, plus what? f, fourth derivative of 0, then it means you will have x raised to power 4 upon factorial, isn't it? Because we've realized that f of 0 is not than 0, but they wanted the, the first 4 and 0 terms. Are you seeing that? Yes. Good. So after that, it means we are adding f for the derivative of that. So this will be negative 3 times 54, isn't it? Which is? Negative 162. Negative 162 into 3x plus 1. Then you reduce the power by 1. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative. Then you differentiate the inner function. 3x plus 1 is the inner function. If you differentiate it, you get 3, isn't it? So start. 3 times negative. Or let's just give it like that. We simplify when we substitute 0, isn't it? Yeah. So let us start with the first one. What is f of 0? Where there is x, f of x is this. Where there is x, if we put 0, we get f of 0, isn't it? Mm. So f of 0 is what? ln of 1. ln of 1. So you get 0. So they don't need this than zero term, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then you move to the next one, f prime of zero. This is f prime of x. So where there is x, you put zero, f prime of zero is what? One raised to by negative one. One raised to anything is one, isn't it? So you remain with this three. Because this is three times zero is zero, you remain with one raised to by negative one is just one. So one times three is three. Is three. Then you move to f double prime of zero. Where there is x, if you put zero, you get f double prime of zero, isn't it? So f double prime of 0 there will be 3 times 0 is 3. 1 raised to negative 2 is just 1. So 1 times negative 9 will remain with negative 9, isn't it? Then you move to the next one. f triple prime of 0 is what? f triple prime of x is this. So where is this x? When you put 0, you have 3 times 0 is 0. So it is 1 raised to negative 3. 1 raised to anything is 1. 
So one times 54, you remain with 54, isn't it? Then you move to the next one, F, for the derivative of 0. Meaning if you put 0 here, yeah, isn't it? Where x is, what do you have? This will be 3 times 0 is 0, 1. So 1 less negative 4 is just 1, isn't it? So 1 times 3 times negative 162, isn't it? So 3 times negative 162? Negative 4? 486, isn't it? Then you go back and you substitute in your equation, isn't it? So it means what do we have here? f of x is equal to f of 0 we found is 0, isn't it? f of 0 we found is? Is zero, so it means this first term is zero, isn't it? So then the rest, f prime of zero, you found to be to be three. So it is three times x raised to power one. That is three x over one, isn't it? See, that is just three x. Yeah. Then we move. We are done with this term. We move to this term. F double prime of zero, you found to be negative nine, isn't it? So negative nine divided by two factorial, you get negative four point five, isn't it? Are we together? Negative 4.5 times x squared, isn't it? Yes. So here we have negative 4.5 4. x squared, isn't it? Yes. Are we together? Yes. It is negative 4.5 times this x squared here. Then you move. F triple prime of 0. F triple prime of 0, you found it to be 54, isn't it? So it means this one is 54 divided by 3 factorial. See, 3 factorial is 6. So 54 divided by 6? 9. 9 times x cubed, nice. you get plus 9 x cubed, isn't it? We are done with that. We are done with that term. We move to this term, isn't it? Mm -hmm. F of the derivative of 0, you found to be negative 4. So negative 4, 86 divided by 4 factorial. 4 factorial is 24. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so negative 4, 86 divided by 24. Negative 20.25. 20. Yes. Times x raised to power 4, isn't it? So it is plus negative 20 point, point two five. Are we together? Negative 20 point two five. Then it is times x raised to power? Four. Power 4. Then now, remember our function of x. What was our function of x? Ln. Meaning, this one is, this function of x is ln of 3x plus 1. We substitute. Where there is function of x, we put the value of function of x. Which is ln of 3x plus plus 1. So I'm trying to avoid some steps, isn't it? So from there, we've now found ln of 3x plus 1 using the Mathurin's theorem, isn't it? <coughs> now we want to use it to evaluate this, this integral. Are we together? We now want to use it to evaluate this integral. So how do we evaluate this integral? The first thing we do is we must have ln of the function is this one inside the integral, isn't it? Meaning ln of 3x plus 1 divided by x. You substitute. What is ln of 3x plus 1? You put its value. We found there, isn't it? Yeah. Its value we found is 3x minus 4.5x squared plus plus 9x cubed. This is plus into minus is negative, isn't it? Are we together? Then it is minus. 20 point x raised to power 4. So we've substituted the value of ln of 3x plus 1, isn't it? Then it is divided by, so if it is divided by x, it means x is the common denominator. x is for everything, isn't it? Because this ln of 3x plus 1 is divided by x. So x is the common, common denominator. Are we together? So what do you get if you divide that by x, the common denominator? We'll get ln of We'll get your ln of 3x plus 1, all divided by x to be what? x divided by x, there you remain with? You remain with 3, isn't it? Then, minus x squared divided by x, you remain with x. So it will be minus 4.5x, isn't it? Then you move again, x here you remain with x squared, isn't it? So it is plus 9, x squared, x goes here you remain with x cubed, isn't it? So it is minus 20.25x x cubed. So you see, we found ln of 3x plus 1 divided by x. So what do we want? We now want to integrate it. You now just put integral on both, on, on both sides of the equation, isn't it? So we now introduce, we integrate from 0 to 2 with respect to x. You put on both sides of the equation from 0 to 2, you are integrating this with respect to x, dx. Are we together?
together. You introduce the integral on, on both sides with respect to, with respect to x, so that is the x. With respect to x there, we have 20.25x cubed dx. Are you seeing that? You simply introduce the integral on both sides of the equation. If you do that, you have now found what they are looking for, isn't it? Are we together? So start integrating. If you integrate 3 with respect to x, you get 3. If you integrate 4.5x, so you get minus 4.5, then it is x squared divided by 2, isn't it? Then if you integrate x cubed, x squared, it becomes x cubed over 3, isn't it? So we have 9x cubed over 3, then minus, here we have 20 point, 2, 5. If you integrate x raised to power 3, you get x raised to power 4 over, over 4. Then you put the limit at from 0 to, to 4. So what do you get with the answer? You remember when you are going to substitute the lower limit 0, everything is going to be 0, isn't it? So when we substitute the upper limit for, we will really found the answer because this upper limit minus lower limit which is zero. So you just remain with that upper limit. Oh, this is two. Zero to? Zero to two. Good. This is from zero to two. Very good. So what do you have? What do you have to that two is supposed to do? Then you put three answer minus four point five over two answer square plus nine over three answer cube. Minus 20.25 answer is to power 4 or if your answer was 2, what do you get? What do you get? So if you substitute 2, in all the terms you found negative, negative 60. So the evaluating that integral, you will find negative 60 minus 0, which is just negative, negative 60.